Welcome to TRB Collectibles. My name's Tom and I will be your guide through this estate sale. As we head into this house, if you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button to be on the lookout for future estate sale walkthrough videos and check out some of the other content on my channel. Thanks and enjoy! To begin today's video, I wanted to talk about a topic that I wonder if anybody else has seen that's gone to estate sales. And I've seen it multiple times, and there's nothing wrong with it. But I feel that certain people just stop at some point in a decade. And you can clearly tell that they have not progressed further based on the furniture type and the type of items they have in their home. And I always find it wild to walk into these homes, and it's kind of like I'm stepping back in time. Has anybody else seen that before? Uh, if so, be sure to leave it down in the comments below and let me know. Something to be on the lookout for that I tend not to look for, but I have in the past, are perfumes. Uh, to be very honest, perfumes that they just don't make anymore in houses like this. There might be half bottles or quarter bottles that are still left. And people from a certain time period are looking for those exact perfumes that they don't make anymore. And they're willing to pay for ounces of it. So if you have a chance, look up a perfume or two and see if you have a valuable one. You just never know. One of my favorite parts about going to these estate sales is that they bring back childhood memories sometimes. Like that beanie bear that I just picked up. Uh, it was actually a beanie baby dog that I used to have actually as a kid, so it was fun to see. I'll say it time and time again. Never pass up an opportunity to look up an item. Including old books that are dusty and tattered on shelves. A lot of people not only enjoy to read these books, but they collect them. So always be sure to look up the name of the book, the year of the publication, where it was published, and maybe if it's a first edition. Because you never know what's just sitting there that people pass up because they're just unfamiliar with the category. And that potentially could lead to a lot of profit. When I saw this sign, I immediately saw the word free. And it said, free cassettes. I couldn't have been more excited. You know me and media. If they're giving it away for free, I'll take it by the truckload. So for the remainder of this estate sale, I searched and scoured for every cassette tape available and really couldn't find any up until the end. They were right on a table by the checkout counter, and that was a decent amount. I'd probably say a little over 20 of them. I had gone to the lady. Uh, I noticed upstairs that you marked cassettes as free, and she looked at me and she stated, We did? And I go, You did? I, I took a photo of your sign. I showed it to her and she said, well, we must be giving them away. I go, can I have every single one of them on the table? And she said, sure. And the unique thing is, is that they came in a cassette leather case. And she said, you could have that too, as long as you just take it away. And I said, sure, no problem. And to be very honest, there were a couple cassette tapes in there that were worth at least a 
couple dollars that I could have made on eBay in which they're currently listed and for sale. Never pass up a free opportunity. As I'm about to get into it, I notice that this room is full of crafts, including a sewing table and patterns to make dresses and clothing. So you know me, I am now on the hunt to find a cross stitch pattern or two within all of this stuff. So stay tuned and see if I find one. So on the bottom of this closet, I noticed two cuckoo clocks. And with me, I'm always happy to try a new category. I've seen other resellers sell these cuckoo clocks, but there's one problem. If the clock doesn't work, then there's a lot of fixing to do. And that's one thing I do not know how to fix is a cuckoo clock. So I went ahead and I left it behind just for fear that it wasn't going to work because of the condition of the way they stored it. I have a love-hate relationship with these VHS players, old cassette players, CD players, and stereo equipment. I am drawn to them like a moth to a flame, but also I then buy them, get them home, and realize they are as heavy as bricks. And I kind of don't want to list them. Have I listed them before? Yes, but now I kind of prevent myself from doing so just based on the labored task of making sure that they can get out and that they work. Is there profit to be had? Yes, but there's a lot of hassles as well. Would you looky there? Guess who found a cross stitch pattern? It's Tom, that's who. This was actually a really nice cross stitch pattern. It was sealed. Uh, it had the marking of $2 on it. It was half off day, so I paid a dollar. I can get anywhere between 35 to $45 plus the shipping. You can't beat it. I went ahead and picked this item up. The one thing I did not notice until I edited the video, all of those books up and to the left behind that cross stitch pattern. Ah, oh, and it looked like they weren't touched by anybody. I can only imagine what some of those might have been worth to each their own, but it's always fun to see what you miss, especially editing your own video.
It's always great to see brand new sealed items at estate sales, especially ones that are valuable. This Franklin Children's Dictionary turned out to be one of those items. I went ahead and I believe I picked it up for $3 because they had marked it at 6 And I should be able to get another close to $35 to $45 for it, plus the shipping on top. Now, I've sold electronic Bibles and electronic dictionaries in the past, and I know once you list them, you have a couple days, if not a week, and they're already gone out of your store. So I knew that was going to be a quick flip that I easily picked up. Why is it somehow I always wind up in old, creepy basement slash garages? I just, I don't know. When what I thought was going to be the laundry room turned out to actually be the bathroom, because that's a toilet and a shower. Yep, that's a hole in the ceiling. I think I'm going to get out of this room. Do you see it? It's right in the middle. The Panasonic VHS player. If you remember a long time ago, I released a video called I found a VHS player at an estate sale. Well, this one's quite similar and they always sell very well, especially this type of Panasonic player. I went ahead and I picked this one up too. If you're interested in the other video, be sure to check the links down below. Thank you for watching all the way through to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you had a good time, be sure to click that like button. If you had any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below. And before you head out, be sure to click that subscribe button. As always, my name's Tom, and this has been TRB Collectibles.